Barely move here. Oh, all right. Good morning. We just arrived to my buddy's house. He lives in Bend. He's got a shuttle bus and I'm gonna help him install the subfloor. I did help him insulate the floor already. And um, yeah, now we're just picking up where we left off. So I got my tools out, collecting what I need, and then we're gonna get over there and uh, get this subfloor busted out. Stay, okay? Don't make me worry about you. So we got Matt here, shuttle bus. <laughs> Last time we were in here, we got the subfloor insulation in. Today, we're going to get the top subfloor in, and we're going to start pulling these walls off also and start getting into the windows and taking the insulation out and that sort of thing. Let's get going. There are many different ways to do a subfloor in a van or a school bus. What we're doing today is simply because we're working on a budget. We can't buy the expensive stuff. So we're basically working with half inch plywood and the cheaper floor insulation. halfway mark here really simple stuff we're gonna make quick work of this today We got the subfloor in. I'm gonna take a quick lunch break and then we're gonna start pulling these walls off and see what's behind them. Alright, 
We got the walls taken off. One behind me too. And we got the subfloor in. We got a lot done today. Stoked. We got something living in here. Whew. I need to start wearing masks when I do this stuff. So we got the walls pulled off each side. We got the front tore out also. And right now we're just gonna remove the fiberglass insulation in there. But yeah, there's a few areas that need to be sealed up on the outside where you can see daylight, where water's coming through. So we're gonna tackle those next. And yeah, we're gonna get this place cleaned up and then I'm gonna call it for the day. So I woke up this morning, my windshield and my ceiling are completely frozen. And if you can hear that, I'm starting to run out of propane. My only heat source. All right, we got to speed up this process. I got a little paint scraper here. There we go. All right. That makes life easy. My toes are frozen. Right now I'm in a rush to get the windshield defrosted so I can see out of it. So I can go get more propane because I'm running out of propane. And the only way to defrost the windshield is with the propane. So is that it? And that's it. I guess I'm gonna start breathing on the glass and hopefully it defrosts. So between the towel and this little paint scraper here, I got a pretty good view. That should be safe enough. There goes that noise. I don't know what that noise is. If you watch my last video, that was my first time discovering it. But yeah, it's not a fun noise. I'm gonna have to figure it out and disconnect some things. <laughs> Alright, we are as ready as we are ever gonna be. It's starting to get cold in here, so I gotta get going. driving in this unless it was a life or death situation which it is because if we don't have heat we will freeze to death <laughs> so. oh. okay we got the propane filled we got the heater on i cannot feel my toes <laughs> <laughs> so we're gonna get warm and i'm parked out front of the laundromat so we're gonna get some laundry done today
freaking beeping, man. Now I figured out what it is. I just gotta figure out how to disconnect that sensor. It sounded like the AOL startup link from way back in the day, if you're old enough to remember that. All right, so the bus is warmed up, but I'm gonna let it warm up a little bit longer, and then I'm gonna get on with my day. Later in the day, my buddy Dan stopped by and helped me install the diesel heater. Having dry heat has been an absolute game changer. Wow. Dry heat for the win. This is the first time ever I've woken up and not have moisture on my window. I highly recommend these diesel heaters over the propane heaters, but propane heaters do work pretty well. So just not in vehicles. Go for the dry air. All right. Thanks y'all for watching. Like and subscribe and I'll see you next week.